When I was a kid, I had a thing for tuna fish. Every single day, my entire second grade school year, all I ate was tuna fish sandwich on Wonder Bread with Miracle Whip. Yeah. I haven't had tuna now, oh my gosh, probably in more than 42 years. Uh, and a couple of years ago, my husband, who loves creating recipes, said, "Hun, you gotta try this. I, I figured out a way of making a vegan tuna fish. And at first I was a little hesitant because I thought, uh, you know, after all this time, I do have a bit of an aversion to anything that is too similar to meat. But I thought, you know what, what the heck, I'm gonna try it. It's good. Let me tell you, it really blew my mind how much I loved this tuna fish salad. So today we're gonna make that and I'm gonna show you really how simple and easy it is using jackfruit. So today we're gonna make, I guess we'll call a mock tuna salad uh, using jackfruit, which is a really interesting fruit. It's, it's, if you've ever seen one before, then you know they're huge. They're a great big kind of melon shape looking spiky looking fruit and if you want to use a jackfruit fresh and cut it up yourself you can do that but I'm a little bit lazy and I think it's a lot easier and neater just using jackfruit right out of the can. So what we're using is green jackfruit that's been packaged in brine. You want to use brine or its own juice. Do make sure you don't use jackfruit that's been packed in syrup because it'll be sweet. What I've done is I've drained the can and I've already started to prepare it, but I've got a couple of pieces left here. I want to show you what it looks like. It's cut into little wedges, and all you have to do is kind of slice it up with the grain, with a knife, and what's strange about jackfruit is it is weirdly similar to meat. It looks like a white meat. It's got this kind of striated, sinewy type of a texture and tissue to it that duplicates meat very closely. Uh, it has very little fragrance on its own. It's almost flavorless. I would say if it reminded me of anything, it smells a little bit like artichokes that have been pa packaged or canned in water. You'll find little um, round, they're kind of soft and smooth, but they're a little bit tough and they're the seeds and the seed pods from the jackfruit. So if you find that in here, you want to separate those out and throw those away. I find it's easiest just breaking it up by hand with my fingers, but you can also use a knife or a fork to kind of flake it up. So that's all you do to get it ready. And I've got one can of jackfruit that's been shredded. Some people say it reminds them of like pulled meat, pulled pork. In fact, a lot of people use this to make uh, their own mock pulled pork sandwiches. All right, so now we're gonna go take this to the stove. So we're gonna start off by um, heating up a little olive oil in the pan. I'm using uh, about a half a tablespoon. To that, we're going to add a half of either a sweet or yellow onion that's been diced. and a couple cloves of very finely sliced garlic. And you wanna make sure that you really keep an eye on this. The last thing you want is for your garlic to burn. So keep your heat low enough that the onions and the garlic will start to get a little bit transparent, but we don't want them to brown. So we're gonna give this just a few minutes, a couple of minutes over the heat. Oh boy, that smells good. Okay, so it looks like our onions and garlic are ready for us to add the next ingredient. So we're putting in a half a teaspoon of dried tarragon and then all of our shredded jackfruit. Boy, doesn't that look like tuna? It's really kind of amazing. So we're gonna continue letting this just cook on its own for about another three minutes. We're going to Add our next ingredients in a separate pan. We're gonna use about a half a tablespoon of butter, vegan butter, and sea salt. You can also find all of our recipes at thecuredunderground.com. So we're gonna let the butter melt, and to that we're gonna then add one can of drained 
great northern beans. So now we're gonna let the beans just simmer for a little while until they're tender. All right, so I've taken everything off the stove. The jackfruit and the onions and garlic are nicely tenderized, so are our great northern beans. Now I just need to mash up the beans, and I'm gonna use a potato masher. You can also use a spoon or a fork, whatever. They're really tender, so it's not hard to get them to break up. And I'm gonna really try to do a good job getting them fairly smooth, kind of almost a puree. So now, it's just a matter of transferring the beans into the jackfruit. And I'm gonna combine this. And then we're gonna set this aside for, oh, about five minutes or so, just to let it cool down a little bit. This is about a quarter cup of vegan mayonnaise. We're gonna use about three tablespoons of pickle relish. This is like good old ballpark style pickle relish. couple tablespoons of mustard, and I'm just using yellow mustard. You could use Dijon if you wanted. All right. And then the juice of one lemon. Okay. Now we're gonna whisk all this together. Okay, so we've let everything cool just long enough that we can now add the final ingredients. Um, first, we're gonna add our two large stalks of celery that were uh, finely diced up. Nice and crisp and crunchy. It'll add a nice little texture to the salad and then our dressing that we prepared. And now we'll just combine all of that. Really want to make sure you've got it all thoroughly stirred in. And this is one of those uh, dishes that gets better over time. So if you prepare it in advance, put it in the fridge, let it cool down completely for maybe a couple of hours or so before um, serving it, and then it will be perfect. All right. And there you have vegan tuna salad, all ready to enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to click subscribe below. And if you already have, share with your friends. If you were my husband, he'd put a couple of potato chips right on top of it.